Kia introduced the second generation Nero in November 2021 but we had to wait until the middle of January to discover the technical specifications, and only for the hybrid model. The compact crossover is making the headlines again as the South Korean brand has released details about the plug-in hybrid and the purely electric derivatives that will be joining the standard HEV model. Without further ado, the 2022 Kia Niro PHEV uses the same 1.6-liter gasoline engine as the HEV model. In both instances, the four-pot mill is hooked up to a new dual-clutch, six-speed automatic transmission made 2.3 kilograms, 5 pounds, lighter by removing the reverse gear. Wait, what? Indeed, going backward will be done using electric propulsion. Speaking of which, the Nero PHEV gets a 62 kilowatt motor to replace the HEV's 32 kilowatt setup. Consequently, combined output goes up from 139 horsepower to 180 horsepower. Stepping up to the crossover you can manually recharge gets you a 5.5 kilowatt hour high volt positive temperature coefficient heater. The PTC debuts on a Hyundai, Kia, Genesis product and unlocks extra range when driving in a colder climate. This is made possible by installing self-regulated ceramic elements for additional heating to ensure an uninterrupted warm airflow. While the old Nero PHEV had an 8.9 kWh battery, its replacement has been upgraded to a slightly larger 11.1 kWh pack to achieve an electric range of 40.3 miles (65 km) per WLTP. However, the maximum range is attainable provided the crossover is equipped with 16-inch wheels as going for a bigger set will come with an efficiency penalty. As far as the Nero EV is concerned, it comes with 201 horsepower and a near instant torque of 255 newton meters, 188 pound to feet. It's enough electric punch for a 0 to 62 miles per hour, 100 kilometers per hour, run in 7.8 seconds and a top speed of 104 miles per hour, 167 kilometers per hour. The motor gets its necessary juice from a lithium-ion polymer battery with a capacity of 64.8 kWh. A full charge is estimated to last for 287 miles, 463 km, in the WLTP cycle. Using a DC rapid charger will replenish the battery from 10 to 80% in around 43 minutes. With the second-gen model, Owners will take advantage of bi-directional charging, but only for devices and at up to 3 kWh. The Nero EV is more practical than its predecessor since it has gained a front trunk that can store 20 liters. Not only that, but the rear cargo area can now swallow 475 liters, representing a 24-liter increase over the model it replaces. Should you want the crossover with a combustion engine, the Nero HEV has a 451 liter volume while the PHEV is the least practical, at only 348 liters. The first Kia to ride on the K3 platform borrowed from the Hyundai Elantra will go on sale in Europe in the coming months. Details about the US spec crossover should arrive in the coming months.